If it's for a regular checkup, the doctor's offices are behind the reception area. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for Dr. Zamiatine. He's in his office. You'll find it in the small corridor back there, the first door on your left. Pretty gloomy clinic. It could, could do with a bit of human warmth. It used to be the fortress of the Dukes of Valsambor, the ancient rampart standing against invasions from the east. The inhabitants of Valsambor took refuge here and often escaped the besiegers through mysterious secret passages. When did it become a clinic? That was 20 years ago, thanks to Dr. Zamiatine. I would like to leave this clinic. Would you mind telling me where the exit is, please? Well, usually I'd have told you to go over to the other side of the courtyard to take the funicular that goes down to Valsambor. But it seems Dr. Efimova has shut off the entire clinic for security reasons. The funicular has been stopped until further orders. I see. Thank you for all that information. I'll be going now. Maybe you should head on back to your room and wait until they say the funicular is fixed and back in service? I'll think about it. Goodbye. Uh, Dr. Olga? Nobody. Maybe not such a bad thing. Ah, hello, Miss Walker. How very delightful to see you up and about. Even if I really have to admit that I'm a bit surprised, our dear Dr. Olga painted a far darker picture of your current state of health. Come on. I don't want to say anything bad about someone you seem to appreciate, Dr. Zamiatine, but quite frankly, Dr. Efimova worries me. Ah, and why is that? She and her associate, Dr. Mangling, put me through a real interrogation. They're also keeping Kirk, the young Yukul, prisoner, attached to his bed. Not to mention the psychological grip she seems to have on everybody here. Listen to me, Miss Walker. I know that waking up after a prolonged period in a coma is difficult. In such a context, anxiety attacks are very normal. But, please, do not project it onto Dr. Olga. I'm not getting any younger, you know, and running this clinic is a very heavy burden. The last few years, Olga has shown she is capable of assisting me. I have every faith in her. But... The subject is closed, Miss Walker. Please tell me about that pendant you have around your neck. I must admit I noticed it as soon as you walked in. It belonged to Oscar, a friend who passed away. I understand, Miss Walker. I myself have borne the weight of grief for decades now. Wearing a token from someone dear to you is a natural thing. Dr. Zamiatine, I promised Kirk I'd go to the craftsman in Valsambur and bring back his mechanical prosthesis. The poor boy has been waiting for it for ages, so I'd like to try to speed up the process. Would you tell me how to get there? Now there's a truly noble initiative, Miss Walker. I asked my clockmaker friend Simon Steiner to manufacture the young Yukol's mechanical prosthetic leg. He's a capable craftsman and ingenious. You'll find him in his workshop near the Valsambor port. I imagine he must almost be finished with his work by now. He makes amazing things. You'll see. Can you authorize my release so that I can see Dr. Steiner? Unfortunately, I've been told that the clinic is in lockdown. You will have to ask Dr. Olga, Miss Walker. She signed the current order to lock our establishment down. She's in charge of giving out the passes.
This book should answer any of the questions you may have about our Yukol's friends. Farewell and bon voyage, Miss Walker. Why did the Yukols ask you to heal Kirk? On each of their migrations, the Yukol shamans and I have exchanged medical knowledge. Their trance therapy and materia medica have provided astounding results for my patients affected by psychological afflictions. In exchange, I do what I can to take care of those injured that they can't heal using their traditional medicine. Like, uh, that poor boy who lost his leg. How many ostrich migrations have you seen? This is the third one. I'm lucky to have seen so many of them. It's a rare spectacle. Believe me, the great herd of ostriches accompanied by the Yukols, doomed to blindly follow their animals wherever they happen to roam. And they don't care about countries, wars, and borders. You seem to like the Yukols, Dr. Zamiatine. They are a fascinating people, you know, and such astonishing medicine infused with shamanism. Without which, no doubt, you would have never arrived in this clinic alive, Miss Walker. I get the impression that the Yukos aren't much liked around here. Indeed. It would seem that most of the inhabitants of Valsimbor are now quite hostile towards them. This wasn't the case a while back, you know. When I was young, the migration of the snow ostriches was an event widely welcomed with open arms in Valsimbor. Why the change in attitude? Our region was actually somewhat devastated 20 years ago. Dramatic events changed the way people viewed the world. The people turned inward on themselves. They're less welcoming. And the fact that the Yukols have been stuck here, next to Lake Valsimbor for several weeks, hasn't helped. It's really necessary for me to ask Olga's permission to leave? You're the director of this clinic, after all. Olga is my right-hand woman. I can't keep her uninvolved in current matters, Miss Walker. She is also currently your doctor. You should really talk with her about it. She isn't as evil as you seem to believe. You'll find her in her office, most probably. I've been waiting for my appointment for hours. I'm here to see my husband. He's been here months and months. <laughs> The American is awake. You must hurry, Colonel. Hmm. How is she doing? Fine, apparently. She is docile for the moment. This may not last too much longer, I'm afraid. And what about the tribe of nomads? Just like the past two years, Leg Valsambor hasn't frozen over. So the herd can't cross the ice. They're stuck here. And also, their young guide is still in our role. If everything goes as planned, soon the Yukols will have no choice but to go back home. Especially as I have a plan to speed things up. Fine. There's also the American detective, Colonel. He should be arriving soon. Let him meet with Miss Walker if that's what he wants to do. No point alarming him just yet. But when all is said and done, we're the ones who are handling the young woman's case. No American is going to come here and tell us what to do. Subject, Kate Walker. Olga, I've received confirmation that the American is a subversive. She is a hysteric by nature and has gotten it into her head to accompany an old lunatic to some imaginary island. 
On the way, she has caused a great deal of nuisance for the authorities and, above all, has associated herself with those freeloading Yukals. It would also seem Tot Uncle Sam considers her to be of some importance. This is a good occasion to get rid of her when I get to Valsember, my men will arrest her and deliver her to her country's authorities. Until then, take good care of her. Colonel. Subject, Zamiatine. From Olga, Colonel, I've received the report of the Commission concerning the clinic management and, with all due respect to our comrade commissars. I believe that putting Zamiatine to one side on my behalf would be an error. He almost never leaves his office anymore, of course, and he delegates all responsibility to me, but his signature is the one appearing at the bottom of every document, even the ones concerning my experiments. I therefore feel that it would be better to let him remain behind his desk, he makes the perfect straw man. At your service, Dr. Olga Efimova. Reply from the Colonel. Okay, good idea. Subject, arriving soon. Dr. Efimova, my name is Nick Canton, and, without bragging, I am acknowledged as the best private detective on the east coast of the USA. I'm contacting you following a telephone conversation you had with my client, the law firm Marson and Lormont. As agreed, I'll be arriving in the next few days to honor the terms of the contract you agreed to with the firm concerning the extradition of Kate Walker. One point still bothers me, though. Is it true that Miss Walker has to be arrested by some sort of local militia? During the day, I'd like to have a video conference with you to clarify this point and go over the last few practical details concerning my arrival. Regards, Nick Canton. The finest private investigator on the East Coast. Subject, Psychiatric Report on Partion 10, Kate Walker. Dr. Efimova, in accordance with your recommendations, I subjected patient number 10, the America Kate Walker, to the standard psychiatric interview. Even though at first glance she seemed convincing, the patient nonetheless demonstrated all the symptoms typical of the propensity for anarchy so common in her misguided homeland. Worse, it turns out she subscribes completely to the cause of the Yukol nomads and it is obvious that she intends to continue agitating in our beloved region. I therefore recommend an emergency protocol, restricting her movements and interaction with other patients who might be encouraged to agitate for the young nomad. I will have the mechanical bed calibrated for the patient with this in mind, in preparation for your response. Sincerely, Dr. Helmut Mengeling, Psychiatrist. Reply from Dr. Olga. There is more urgent business. Come see me later in the boiler room, we have to take care of those damn nomads. Hello, Miss Efimova. I'm here to see you too. Kate Walker? It really is you! What a coincidence. I've been looking for you for weeks. Uh, Mr. Canton, I presume? Ah, I see that my reputation precedes me. Miss Efimova must have told you I was coming. No, I just now learned of your existence, Mr. Canton. A while ago, my employer in New York informed me that he was going to stick a detective on my back. I don't like to boast, but I'm the best detective on the East Coast. Never a problem with me. I've been asked to bring you back home safe and sound, Miss Walker. I should be in Valsambor in a few hours. I have no need of a knight in shining armor holding my hand, Mr. Canton. Hmm. Look, Miss Walker, I'm just doing my job. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've made the trip for nothing. Yes. I mean, I'm not so sure. The Justice Department is looking for you, you know. The Feds are looking for me? But what's the charge? I've done nothing wrong. Embezzlement! Apparently, you took off with a contract for the sale of the clockwork toy factory in Vorlberg. And you took advantage of the seller's senility. You're even suspected of being responsible for the death of one of them. A Mr. Hans Vorlberg, the last heir authorized to sign contracts with the company you represented. That's not negligible. You know, Miss Walker. This is completely ridiculous. And as far as I know, you aren't authorized to represent the Justice Department in this country. 
You're just a detective. So you'll have to put up with it, Mr. Canton. I'm not going back to New York with you. So leave me alone. Wait, Miss Walker. Please be reasonable. Goodbye, Mr. Canton. Dr. Zamiatine, excuse me, but I still really need to speak with you. Of course. What's wrong, Miss Walker? It's about Olga Efimova. Miss Walker, I mean... Uh... I promise. I am not making this up. I surprised her in the middle of a discussion with some kind of a policeman, a colonel. They want to keep me here whether I want to stay or not. God only knows why. They also talked about the Yukels. They have some kind of a plan. That's enough, Miss Walker. I've heard enough. Please, Doctor. You have to listen to- Out of the question. My poor girl, with such a terrible degree of paranoia, I should have you accompanied straight back to your room immediately. You're fortunate that I'm sympathetic towards you. But don't go too far. Please. Hurry up. Yes, Dr. Eltimova. I'm doing whatever I can. Get this damn tap open in the end, you'll see. Ah. Ah. That's it. Well, that should convince the Yukel scum to strike camp and go back where she came from. Come on, Helmet. Let's not hang about here. Yes, of course, Dr. Efimova.
hydrochloric acid. Too dangerous without some kind of receptacle underneath. This thing is stuck. This thing is stuck.
Miss Catwalk, help, please! Quickly, or all ostrich is lost! Quickly, or all ostrich is lost! The Yukels are going to be overwhelmed here soon. I have to help them, quickly. Miss Kitwok, Sen Benu, Tuk, 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 Minimir Buruf. I wanted to warn you, your ostriches mustn't drink the river water. It's important. They can get really sick. Buruf still find way to keep some. But snow ostriches always want and need much, much water. Or they get very sick, too. Try to hold them back as long as possible. There must be a way to filter the river water. Ungeremu, but Miss Ketwalk, go quickly. Miss Ketwalker. Uh, hello, ma'am. Da! <laughs> you remember me, Miss Ketwalker. Me, Ayahuasca. Great Yukul Shaman. Me go there and find you somewhere there in the world of the spirits. So you're the one I owe my life to, Madam Ayahuasca. It's you who cared for me before taking me to the doctors in the Valsenbor Clinic. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Tuk tuk tuger. Miss Kate Walker go clean river water right up there. Since she traveled long time in magic world, spirits now her friends. They will show her the right path. I... very well. If you say that the spirits are going to give me a hand, I... I'll try to do that. Ladies and gentlemen of the spirit world, if you want to show me the way, now's the time. Just had to ask, I guess. This gauge is obviously for measuring the water flow from the dam. This gauge is obviously for measuring the water flow from the dam. Bairdla, Miss Ketwalk. Thanks you and spirits. Ostriches saved. Be careful all the same, Mr. Barut. The dam filtering the water may not hold very long. Sa! Yukos leave here fast to make sure ostrich is safe. But not possible without Kirk. Him our guide. 
I just came from the clinic. Kirk and I shared a room. Za, how going, Kirk? Duke? He's fine. Don't worry, Mr. Barut. Duke, so why him not come back with you? It's taking a while to finish his artificial leg, it would seem. No, Kirk. Yukols cannot leave here. So ostriches want continued journey without Yukols. Can't keep ostriches here very long. Ostriches cross Lake Valsambor alone, and then eaten by lake spirits. Duke. The ostriches crossing the lake, so that has to be a part of the migration? Duke, Duke. Baranur, on other side of lake, is path of sacred plains. Ostriches lay eggs in hot sand on sacred plains. But lake, not anymore frozen, so not be able cross. Listen, Mr. Barut, do your best to calm your ostriches while I go to Valsumbur. I promise Kirk to go get his prosthesis and bring it back to him. Bartla, Bartla, Tuk, Miss Ketwalk, you friend of Yukol's. I'm going to speak with the shaman now. Ayahuasca will be very happy. See Miss Ketwalk. She go with you and around you a lot in world of spirits, so they free you. You not die because of her. What a strange sculpture. Looks like a kind of octopus or squid. Hello, little lady. People not like you goes now. Ha, Miss Kate Walker. You have good news? To be honest, nothing great. Kirk, your young guide is in the hands of Olga Efimova. That woman has the director of the clinic, Dr. Zamiatine, under her thumb. She also seems to be in tight with a shady soldier. These people hate you, Ayahuasca. They can't stand your way of life. They're the ones who poisoned your ostrich's water. I think they're also holding up Kirk's prosthesis to keep him in the clinic and stop you from continuing your migration. People not like Yukels now. Yukels out of date. Tuk tuk. If Yukels without guide, not able to continue great voyage. Return to north and never leave again. And then ostriches die. Well, hold on. We're not at that stage yet. I promised Kirk I'd go to Valsambor to bring back his mechanical leg. Oh, magic leg not only problem for you girls. <laughs> If the lake doesn't freeze, your herd won't be able to cross it. I suppose your ostriches can't really swim. It also seems to me that the lake really has a bad reputation. Miss Walker see very clear. <laughs> now many very, very bad spirits on lake and also after. Baranor. Baranor very dangerous. Bad luck. Bad luck everywhere. Ayahuasca very, very scared. There may be another way to cross the lake, instead of waiting for it to freeze. I'll find out when I visit Valsambor. 
Why Miss Kate Walker decide to do all this for us? You're treated like pariahs. I'm disgusted by how everybody sees you here. <laughs> Look, Miss Kate Walker and Yukles are friends. So Miss Kate Walker decide accompany Yukles on great journey? We'll see. First, I have to go to Valsambor. But like you, I seem to be a prisoner in this camp. You girls not have right to go to Valsambor now. Miss Kate Walker like them. Now she must find pass so that she able to leave here. Strange the lake taking so long to freeze. This must be a consequence of global warming. Bad spirits at bottom of lake make water very hot. Really nasty bad spirits everywhere now. <laughs> Where can I find a pass so I can leave the camp? Before, Yukles could make use of pass machine in cabin at camp exit. But authorities decide break it in small pieces so now we cannot use. Miss Kate Walker should ask client tourists in Valsambor. I was told about everything your tribe did for me when you found me. Thank you so much. Miss Kate Walker cured. That's what counts. Job of ayahuasca. <laughs> I'm going to try to find the pass that you told me about. Miss Kate Walker, go quickly. <laughs>